What's good, YouTube? I've got a blitz for you today that I think is going to just rock your world a little bit. This is a really, really good trips tied in blitz. Now, again, um, it's a situational call that I like to use against trips tied in. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. And we do tips like this every single day to help you get better at Madden. Now, also guys, if you wanna get my full uh, Nickel Normal ebook, it is available by joining my Patreon. My Patreon will be linked in the description. It's the best way to support me as a creator. It's also a best way to get access to all of my ebooks. You don't only have to, um, normally you have to buy each individual ebook with our Patreon membership. You get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks in addition to that we're also giving you um an update every single week uh with new concepts new material uh little tweaks and twists and spins so that everything is up to date in the membership so if you want to get access to that it's only ten dollars a month and there's a link in the description for you to sign up as soon as you sign up you get access to everything that we have over there over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks and over probably a hundred updates um over the course of this game now I can't wait to talk about this video. And this is PA Counter Go. We're going to show you how to get pressure against trips tied in. So let's say that you're someone that wants to run nickel 335 wide. Um, what you'll see here is if I were to run, um, let's say that, for example, I was running um, this and I blocked my running back because I want to try to pick up the pressure. What you're going to notice is the loop blitz from 335 wide will come around and you're not able to block your running back this is why um, most people when they face 335 wide what they like to do is they like to block their tight end this is a very popular uh concept from bunch from from trips and you see here oh now the blitz is picked up now what a lot of trips tight end players like to do gun tray gun trips tight end very similar formations what they like to do is they like to use play action. And play action this year is really good. And so what you're gonna see here, I'm pass committing. I've got the same blitz on. And that same blitz that came in against a blocked running back, you see here against play action, it has to shed for the blitz to be able to come in. And so that's where I started going, you know, is there a way that we could get a five man blitz to consistently come in um, against the blocked running back against trips tied in? Because trips tied in features their tight end so much in the art and the arsenal of the playbook and so that's what this blitz is for that i'm going to teach you today out of nickel normal and again we're going to come out in pa counter go and the blitz is nickel blitz 2 now um the nickel blitz 2 to me every year is one of the better blitzes in the game most people would be smart to start with nickel blitz 2 from nickel normal or nickel 435 will or any of the nickel sets as a basic concept for blitzing in this video, we're gonna show you how good this really is. So um, all we're gonna do with this is we're just gonna pinch our defense. Now, when we pinch our defense, we're actually gonna use this guy right here, Dante Hightower. And what you're gonna notice is as long as I pass commit, um, I'm at the snap of the ball, once I see play action, I'm gonna run kind of down at the center. And then you'll see that this, we get this really interesting thing. So snap the ball, run down to the center. And you see, look at that. We just got a gap pressure against play action look at this blitz against trips tied in this right here is probably the best blitz that i've seen um consistency wise against trips tied in look at this the guard um you want to blitz from depth so you don't necessarily want the corner close off the line the corner is not even the primary source of pressure so you see here they get this guy picked up but then you see the guard and the tackle block nobody and look where are you throwing this football where are you throwing the ball you're not throwing the ball you're gonna take a sack so let me show you it again so again it's really simple to set this up we're gonna pinch our defense that's it <laughs> and we're gonna pass commit and what you'll see is at the snap of the ball as long as we run at the center it should give us an automatic disengage so i run down i hold left trigger a lot of times too to help me um now i've ran this once a couple times so sometimes it can be a little less inconsistent but this is a very very good concept so again just simply pass commit I like to hold, you can hold left trigger at the snap of the ball if you want to. Um, you can kind of mess around with that. But you see that you get this little slip angle. And if it doesn't come instantly in, you're almost automatically going to get really, really good um, angles for your guys uh, to be able to shed. You can blitz your user. Um, that does help some. So again, just something like this. Come in. 
and you see how uh, we're able to hold hold the contain. So what this is going to do is they're going to say, well, why would I block my running back? I can't get, I can't, or um, why would I, why would I run play action? I'm just going to go to a standard passing play and try to block my running back. What you'll see with this blitz is again, then in this situation, you're just going to hold left trigger and you see that this will pick the blitz up. So it's not foolproof by any means. It's some, it's a simple concept that is primarily designed for when they run play action. When they run play action, we want to be able to guarantee pressure. Now, if they start to not run play action, it makes your life a lot easier against trip side in. All we need to do is simply uh, zone that corner and blitz both of our linebackers. So you see, we get this look. And now what you'll see is this gives us incredible pressure from the defensive end. So it's a little mini scheme in terms of how to blitz this uh, formation. I also don't think you should blitz every time. Um, I'm just simply saying that if you want something that is pretty tried and true against, see that right there? And that's where, again, that fresh blitz angle, you get that all the time, that little shed, that little disengage. Now, you can mess around as you want to um, and, uh, with the, you know, with the, with the line crashes and stuff. But you see, I mean, that's really simple pressure. It's literally no, hardly any adjustments. Literally just pinch your defense, pass, commit. You're going to stand right here. And again, you can kind of mess with your user as you see fit. Um, but basically the gist of it is, you know, you're going to get some pressure right in there. And it's just going to kind of collapse down on them so fast that it's going to be difficult. Because they're not, like, the reality is, even though, like, we're able to pick this blitz up, if you think about it, um, the running back has to pick him up. And look how close that is. That's an under pressure and accurate a lot of times. It really does collapse the pocket. Now, another thing that you could do off of this is simply crash your line to the right. So you see here, I'm just going to pass commit and I'm going to crash my line to the right. I want to show you what this looks like. Now your nickel corner is the more likely candidate to come free, which is much, much worse if the running back is in a play action. But let's say that they're, um, you know, let's say that they're just, you know, kind of sending their routes out. If they're in something like this, this is a little bit better against a non-play action set because now you get these little slip angles that are really, really good for creating disengages. And you see that nickel blitz come off the edge if they just send everybody on a route. So it's a way that you can kind of play some chess with some players. But again, this is, I mean, this is just an incredible, incredible blitz angle. It has to do with the slip that you're getting from Calvin Noy. So that's why you want to leave kind of the angles. But again, you run this, look at that right there. I mean, there's, and that's a very likely thing to have happen. And the better, faster guys that you have, that's gonna be more likely, uh, again, depending on the, on, on the guy that you, a guy that you have. Um, so again, real simple, real, real simple blitz. But I think it's one of the best blitzes, you know, in Madden right now. Look at that, look at that A gap. And then it kind of pushes everything else away. So. Uh, try this out. This is something, it, the cool part again, and this is what I said about nickel normal before. If you're someone that runs trip side in a lot, you kind of know that if I go with this blitz right here, which is just kind of a standard five man blitz, this blitz for the most part is going to get picked up. You see right there, I mean, literally no chance of coming in and they have plenty of time to make a read. So if you're someone from trip side in, you kind of know that. And that's the pre-snap look that you're getting, right? But this little sneaky pressure right here comes in super consistent and I mean you're kind of falling into a sack and that's what makes this so good you have to have basically escape bars to have any shot and most people at this point in the year aren't really running escape um so this is just a simple pressure and again it's one of my favorites in the game and you see you can get some glitchy heat out of nickel normal so that's the video if you want to get my full nickel normal ebook there's a link in the description below you can get the whole defense for just um 10 bucks a month and again that ten dollars is going to get you the whole membership all of my ebooks all the updates to the ebooks and any new ebooks that we release in the future so if you want to become a patreon member get access to all of that stuff for just ten dollars there's a link in the description you can head on down there and check it out